G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in this video, we're gonna take a look and deep dive into how we can navigate your SharePoint site from directly within Microsoft Teams. So just a little bit of Share uh, 101 here and the relationship between Teams and SharePoint, as we know, or as you may not know, when you create a Microsoft Team, we have a SharePoint site that sits behind that team that is for all of the content services. Now, before we get stuck into it, just a quick message from today's video sponsor, and that is my new course called SharePoint and Copilot Mastery. And the topic of this actual video came from a question from one of the students from one of the lessons about why the breadcrumbs only appear in the general channel. So that's what we are answering today. Now, if you want to have a look at the course, head over to danielanderson.io forward slash course. We are still at the time of this recording open for early access and you will receive the founders pass and that will give you a one-to-one -one, uh, call with me to talk about all of your strategies and implementa implementation issues or things that you're trying to achieve with SharePoint or Copilot you will get access to three additional workshops as well, as well as a, a discount off the recommended retail price of the course. So head over to danielanderson.io forward slash course and take advantage of that offer. Now, onto the video. We can see here that I'm in a Microsoft team. I'm in a team called Retail. Now, I'm in the general channel here. So this team was created uh, a little while ago. So we've got this general channel. Now, you'll notice that I'm on the Files tab here, but when I, and you'll see that I've got this little breadcrumb here. Now, if I hop into another channel, this NC460 sales channel, and I head over to Files, you'll see that the user experience is a little bit different. We don't have that breadcrumbs. Now, if I jump back to general, there's a few interesting things that we can do here with this breadcrumb, right? We can head back, so as we know, and again, every single channel that gets created in a Microsoft team actually is just a folder inside of the default documents library of the connected SharePoint site. And we'll have a look at that in just a sec. Now I'm in the general channel here, but if I click on documents, you can see that I go back up the tree and I now have access to this entire document library, not just that general folder. You can see that I've got these files that live outside of the channel, right? So if I go, um, if I go into NC460 sales, I go to files, I don't see any of those files that we just saw in the root there. If I go to general and I go to files, I don't see the folder, the files that live outside of this general channel. Now, you'll see the relationship here. I've got a folder called general, which is our general channel. I've got a folder called NC460 sales, which is directly related to our channel here, right? Now, we might also have additional document libraries. Now, they don't surface here either, but you'll notice that I've got the ability or this document library switcher here where I can switch between different document libraries in my SharePoint site, but you can only do that from the general channel. I don't get that from this additional channel here called NC460. Okay, so that's why you can't, it's a different experience in the different channels. It's always available in that general channel or more recently, when we create a Microsoft team. So if I create a team through the UI here and I'll say uh, LinkedIn, um, I'll just call that LinkedIn and I will say here. So we can see here, that now this new experience when we're creating a, a new team, we get to name our channel, all right? So what we might say, and we'll go committees, all right? So we'll choose that as our first channel name. So it's not general and we'll hit create. So that's gonna spin up a new team and it's gonna create that first channel and it's not gonna be called general, the one that we're used to, but it's gonna be called committees. Now I'm just gonna skip this and let's have a look at that experience. So we can see here's the team. LinkedIn, committees is the general channel. Now I can still add uh, different channels here if I want to, and I'll say, uh, let's just call this one meetings. We'll keep this as a standard channel, we'll hit create. Now the same experience applies with our breadcrumbs and our uh, document library switching, all right? So if I jump into committees, I'll go to files, 
you can see when this loads that we've got that experience here uh, in this first channel, but it's not the general channel because we've named this first channel uh, committees, all right? So it's always available in that first channel that you create, not from the additional channels, all right? So I hope that brings you some value today. And the course, reminder, danielanderson.io forward slash course, head over there, have a look, uh, and I look forward to seeing you in there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.